we finally, finally got some good news about the last Ronin game. What did you do, Rag Nation? I'm back with Super News Bits to give you the latest superhero news in three minutes or less because I respect your time if you subscribe. So if this video was helpful, hit the like button so it reaches more people. But if it wasn't for you, change it to a dislike. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin is the upcoming single player third person action RPG based on the legendary comic book series of the same name. Last Ronin had everyone hyped last year after dropping their first official trailer, which included a tease of what we could expect the God of War inspired combat to look like. There was nothing but good vibes at the time, especially after it was revealed the game would be on all platforms, so no need for any console war nonsense. But there was one problem with the game that went overlooked that turned out to be a huge deal later, its publisher. The last Ronin game is being developed by Black Forest Games, a subsidiary of THQ Nordic, but unfortunately both companies are owned by The Embracer Group, which has been spiraling ever since a $2 billion investment with Saudi Arabia they were counting on fell through, leading to them firing thousands of people, closing or selling studios, and canceling games in order to save money. One of the casualties of the embracing was Black Forest Games, who reportedly lost 50% of its staff from layoffs, putting the future of the game in doubt. Fans were hoping for an update to ease their worries about the status of The Last Ronin in the coming weeks, but one never came. But after doing a little bit of detective work, I have found some good news. Adrian Gorsh, the co-founder and managing director of Black Forest was asked on Twitter about the status of the last Ronin game and when we would expect another reveal. While Adrian of course didn't give specifics on a date, he responded with a photo that included a last Ronin figurine in Funko Pop with a big Destroy All Humans themed poster that said Hope right behind it, which is of course a reference to the iconic campaign poster of America's 44th president. After having to lay off half your studio, Hope is sounding pretty good right about now. So it looks like the last Ronin game is still in active development, though I highly doubt it gets released at this point before 2025. But its first gameplay trailer is definitely on the table, and there is one upcoming event happening soon that would be the perfect place for it to show up at. And that event will also be big for Spider-Man game fans. I'll talk about that in the next video on screen.